Yes, here. I would love a rod fix. I'm not going to be the one to ask him that question, though. Well, I think I know the answer to it, okay. so I think we're okay. All right. Okay. Here's Baby Jane. I'm a nostalgia actor, after all. 
So I, I will probably do a couple of the songs from Hercules, otherwise it'll be all the songs that people know. Yeah. Because that's what they want to hear. Yeah. Obviously we know you're a keen football fan. Yeah. World Cup's coming up. I know Scotland are not in it. This is about the extent of my World Cup chat. No, but my no. dad's Scottish, right? I believe you went there. He would, look at, he would refuse to support England because if Scotland aren't in it, he'd be like, well, why would I then like then defer to England? And you the same? Who would you support? Well, you're a Scottish football supporter because my dad came from Edinburgh. Right. So I've got a lot of Scottish blood in me. We don't like to see England do very well. No, that's how but it is. But in saying that, all my mates are English. There's nothing else wrong with the English people <laughs> so they don't like their football team. <laughs> My dad used to say they're always winning until the kickoff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who are you supporting then? Uh, Brazil. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic breakfast on your Friday morning. On the way, boys on and Tina Turner. Magic Breakfast Friday morning, Ronan Keating, Harriet Scott. You're not sorry, you're sorry, sorry, but there's, there's, I know. there's, there's I've music never seen you like this right here. Oh, for I love you yeah. and you're brilliant. That's unbelievable. I've loved him for longer, I well, have to say. It's Rod uh, Stewart on Magic Breakfast. No, no, I don't think so. No, I don't think no, so. You, you, Rod, you are a man of the people. I mean, we saw the stuff last year when you, you were actually out on the street at home filling potholes. I mean that that was just brilliant. That was the images of you with a shovel in your hand. Uh, it's it's remarkable. You, you do love to get down and dirty like that, don't you? Well, I, I didn't do it for the press. No, I know no, absolutely because the cars and I saw an ambulance there that was stuck in a hole and they couldn't get out. And mm -hmm. I thought well, this is the end. If I go out, draw attention to it, something will get done. Mm -hmm. And something did get done. They renewed the whole of this nearly a mile long lane, yeah. brand new. Mm -hmm. So victory a for victory. the people. Well done, you. <laughs> well done. So. We spoke to you and your lovely wife Penny on, on Zoom last year. I, you know, I'm also very interested in, in her career and her choices. Can we just talk about that for a second? About her being a special constable. Mm. And it's something that what started off as a TV show, but she has privately, no fuss, a bit like yourself, getting on with things, helping the community. I love this. Yeah, she's um, so dedicated to it. I mean, she was on the Her Majesty's funeral yes. recently and she yes. said she was in an arm's length of the coffin when it went by and she just oh, burst into tears oh, crying. Oh, and the public were all looking at her and going, what's she crying for? She's, she's a real royalist, a loyal royalist. And so she is spending time being a special constable? On the beat, yeah. yeah. She, do, she does sometimes two nights a week or one night a or week. Or do you lay awake worrying? I do, yeah, yeah, because if she makes an arrest, which she often does and some of those have been hilarious, um, she has to go into Liverpool Street Station and write a report. Gosh. And that can go on for ages. Yeah. So until she's in the car coming home, I lie awake until I get a message. I'm in the car coming up. OK, good night, going to bed. Oh, bless you, yeah. Oh, that can't she's, be she loves it. Do you know her quote? She said, I want to look after the city that I love, mm -hmm. and that's London. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Incredible. Good on you, Paul. It's fantastic. Um, we are joined by Rod Stewart, Harriet Scott, and myself, Ronan Keating, and here he is. It's one more time. It's not the color of your hair or the beauty in your eyes that I'll be missing. Oh, the sunshine in your smile, oh, those ruby red lips I've been kissing. Now you finally don't like me, because I understand I don't want to settle down. I'm just a rambling man. I'd rather be out rocking with my good old country band. Yes, I would. But listen, baby. It was great while it lasted. And together we smashed it. Somebody else with you. You taught me how to nasty in those naughty high heel shoes. The devil wears pride. We 
were lovers for a while, but it all came crashing down. The check was immense, but I could all country now. Make no mistake, you'll always be on the speed dial. Oh, yeah. It was great while it lasted. Thank you. On Magic Breakfast this morning. Thank you so much for coming in. I'm sorry I was late. Oh, that's okay. No, you weren't. (laughs) So, we know you're busy. You're you're going out on tour. But also, you know, when stories about you come up, sometimes they're also about your beloved train set. Never call it a train set. What is it, then? It's a scale model railroad layout. Okay. Love it. Where, how much space does it occupy and is it in your house right now? It, it, it used to be in my house in Los Angeles. Yes. And I moved it here, which took two months. Yes. Three great big crates on a big ocean going liner. Yes. Wow. And it start, we started moving it two years ago and now it's at my house here. Uh-huh. It's in its own little building. Well, big building. It's massive. Okay. That's brilliant. I love okay, that. it's time for this. Don't Google, Google this at home. It's time for Don't Google This at Home. It's a game we play just for fun. Play along at home, pretend the internet does not exist. So, Rod, this is a game we play every morning on the show. And basically, we ask the listeners not to Google it. We ask a question, a very random question. And uh, Harriet and I, um, we try and guess what the answer is. And very rarely we get it right. Uh, This morning's uh, question is a miscellaneous themed question. Harriet, what is the question? Okay, here's your question. The world's longest blank is 53,000 feet long. Wow, the world's longest blank. The world's longest... Uh, uh, pier? Who? What? Pier? Pier is a, is, a, pier. is a good answer. The world's longest what is 53,000 feet long. Tunnel. That's a good one. What do you say, Harry? I don't know. I'm, I fancy picking the, whichever answer he's not going to stick with. Which were you, are you going to go for pier or tunnel? I'll stick with tunnel. I'm going to go tunnel. Okay, that's good. All what right. What have you got? Mm, ditch. What was the country about Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Come oh, across all hot brothers. Yeah. <laughs> this is a family show. Um, okay, ditch. I say uh, baguette. Okay. It was a baguette. Okay. Yeah, it's in France. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, get involved. 61054, start your text with the word magic. Uh, the world's longest blank is 53,000 feet long. Don't you dare Google it at home. Beach.co.uk. Free airport security fast track is back only from On the Beach, the home of holiday perks. Does your broadband? Oh, 
Magic Breakfast Friday morning. Harriet Scott and myself, Ronan Keating, and Sir Rod Stewart is in the building. Yes, indeed. And we are not Googling things at home with him. I can't believe it's embarrassing that we've asked him to play I this know, game. Do you mind playing this game? I enjoyed it. I loved it. Oh, that's good. Okay, so the question we asked you was, the world's longest what is 53,000 feet long? Uh, you said tunnel. Mm. Uh, well, well, Harriet said, what did you say? Ditch. Ditch. That's right, ditch. Yes. And I think it's a baguette. <sighs> All right. Um, let's see what you guys think. Belinda and Carlisle says, I think it's a hedge. The world's longest hedge. Simon and Redding says a runway. A sausage, suggests Howard. Longest continuous piece of spaghetti, reckons lorry in Coventry. Julie in Glasgow says motorway junction. What? I'm thinking runway at an airport. They would have plenty of time for takeoff, reckons Jess in Lincoln. And only Pete in Purcell Point got it right. And the answer is... Ta-da! Model railway. What? Model oh, that guy, railway. Yes, that's right. Yes. Who is it? He's, uh, he's someone who built a scale model of it. It's in Surrey somewhere. Well, hang on. Miniature, miniature Wonderland in Germany measures 52,946 feet in length. Of which track. Is, Yeah, it's more than 16 kilometers long. If you stretch it out vertically in one long line, it would be almost double the height of Mount Everest. No. Wow. How about that? How many, how how many that kilometers compare? have you got? Yeah, I how have does to that work compare out, to yours? I've, I've been to that layout. It's, yeah. it's okay, but it's, it's, not very, it's not very detailed. Oh yeah. See, my layout was got rubbish in the street, little people. This one is more. Yeah, just, just track. It's just yeah, track. anyone can just lay down track. Yeah, no, it's, it's good, but it's not what I call extremely detailed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. That was your don't Google I this at home. Be invited there anymore? No, <laughs> that's it. You won't be going back. <laughs> just lost your membership cards. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> oh god right you are going out on tour the tour is going to be amazing you can go to magic.co.uk to get your tickets let's play one of your greatest hits I mean is this safe for the encore this one which is it sailing 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 yeah. oh no no we don't we, we do this in the middle of the show now oh okay. yeah what a beautiful guessing moment. when you're going to finish oh okay <laughs> <laughs> might be a short show <laughs> yeah I'm leaving now that's it but six songs in I'm done it's absolutely gorgeous song We'll play it now. Thank you, Sir Rod Stewart, oh, for being Sir on Rod. Magic Thanks, Breakfast. Great to see you. Not at all. Never Early late. Early London traffic. <laughs> Early for tomorrow.
find that emotional because he's not here anymore and that is the most beautiful song in the world. Oh, I just love it. I can't believe how quickly he left. <laughs> I blame you. Thank you, Sir Rod Stewart, for being on Magic Breakfast. Don't forget, you can get your tickets at magic.co.uk. On the way for you next, it's your workplace shout-outs, and we're going to tell you how you can win £100,000.